We would like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sonic Electronics. So check them out for great deals on speakers, head units, amps, subs, wiring, etc. Use discount code PROVOBEAST for an instant 5% off your next purchase during checkout. Provo Beast do another install today. Today we're doing a radio replacement on a 2000 Dodge Dakota. We're going to show you how to remove the factory radio, get the new radio all wired up, and uh, reinstallation. All right, some of the parts we're going to need, we're using this Kenwood Singleton radio. And then for wiring harnesses, you're going to need a 70-1817 Metro wiring harness. This model also has steering wheel volume control, so we're using the ASWC one. And then for the dash kit, you're gonna need the 99-6229 dash kit. Um, we're using butt connectors for our wiring and a crimper and wire stripper. What we're gonna be doing is stripping both ends here and then using these butt connectors and a crimper, we're gonna actually connect the wires matching colors straight across. All right, so we've connected all our wires up here. It's really just all color by color. As you can see here, what we've done is stripped the wire back and crimped both ends inside the butt connector using nice crimpers. Now, since we have steering wheel controls, you may or may not need that. Uh, what we've also done is wire these in. Now, our steering wheel control module has a, a red wire and a black wire, which what we've done is we've just piggybacked also in there, power and ground. Now, of all the wires in your ASWC one, the only one that we're needing besides the power and ground is this pink guy. So leave that one exposed. Everything else, just go ahead and tape off, as you can see here. Um, we're using a Kenwood, so we're gonna have to use this harness that it also came with. And all we're using is the solid brown wire and not the brown and white stripe wire. Now you may notice here in the wiring harness, you're not gonna see a black wire because there's the, the factory radio does not ground in the factory harness, it actually grounds through a separate wire, so we've kept our ground wire out as well. So really, all in all, it's just matching color to color. Keep your ground out, because we'll do that a separate connection, and keep this pink wire out, because we're gonna be using a specific wire in the harness that we have to wire manually for steering wheel controls. And uh, being, being this is a Kenwood, um, this Kenwood harness has a blue with a yellow stripe, and that connects into the brown wire to our adapter, our adapter to the ASWC one. Our dash kit, our metal can that came with our stereo. We've mounted that in there and bent tabs back so that'll lock in there. At this point, we're ready to head to the truck and get everything installed. All right, here we are inside the truck. Now we have our factory radio. Be sure to pull out your CDs before you disconnect the battery and uh, pull the factory radio out. But as you can see, we have to remove this dash bezel that goes up and around the actual stereo itself and it continues on over here. Now, the majority of the time, most of this dash metal is held on with clips so it does just pop free. Uh, take your time trying to get it up and over the steering wheel column. Um, but as we get this all popped off, we'll show you how to pull the radio. Now using a panel tool, just work your way on under it. Or using your fingers, just go ahead and give it a pull of a tug. You can see there, it just pops it loose. Now the nice thing is you don't have to disconnect and connect any harnesses. And essentially this just comes right on out. And it leaves our radio here. Now you'll notice we'll have a bolt here and a bolt here. Go ahead and remove those and the radio will come free. All right, we have removed our two 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and get your pull your CD out. Now on the back here, go ahead and disconnect your antenna and your harness is here on the side. Now these are just held on with little tabs or clips. Go ahead and release them and the radio will come free. Here's our ground. Now this separate little wire, we've cut that harness off. It's the, the black green wire and then wired into the ground that we left free. Everything else just plugs on in, as you can see here. We left this guy free here because we're having an amplifier and that we can uh, wire up later is our amplifier turn on wire. So we're gonna get this pink wire connected to these two guys right here. And at this point, we're ready to program the ASWC-1. And at this point, um, you'll follow the instructions to program it. Typically, you, you push the button in here to reset it. The light starts flashing and you tap up on the steering wheel controls continually.
And then that's about it. Once it's programmed, we're gonna get the radio back in the dash as well. Okay, so we got the, the bolts in there. We'll do a little test for you. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So let's go ahead and put the dash bezel back on. If you have any questions about this install, just go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and we'll certainly see you in the next video.